Hi guys, welcome to a workout Wednesday in the gym. Hi guys, it's Lucy Sullivan here for a workout Wednesday for you inside a gym this time. So lockdown measures have eased up and I'm gonna give you your first gym session back. So your first exercise today is going to be a squat, which is a whole body movement and it's a really good core exercise and good for stability through the legs and retraction of the back. Now, you probably haven't been in a gym for a little while, so today we're gonna to use a bench to squat down onto. Um, that's just for safety and if there's no one around, then at least you know you're sat down on the bench and you can call out for help. With the squat, you want to have a squat rack in front of you and the bar set up ready for you. I'd probably start with just the bar um, especially if you're new to this. You want to set up your thumbs as rule of thumb, so from the knell, the knurling part, rule of thumb, tuck your thumbs, and then you want to get your back in the middle of the bar. So it's on your back, you lift out of the squat rack, step back towards the bench, feet apart, toes slightly out, breathe in, suck in the core, squat down, and then on the way up, you breathe out and squeeze your bottom here. Sit down nice and slowly and controlled, weight into the heels, breathe out. And you wanna do this 10 times. So today, I, kind of, I wanna predominantly work on your backs. We've done our squats, I want you to do three rounds, 10 reps. Once you've had a rest in between all of those rounds, we're then gonna move on to some upper body back exercises. Now we're going to do bent over row and we're going to superset it with a single arm row. So it's a lot of pressure on your back, but it's gonna help you go from this kind of position to this position, ready for archery. So it's the same setup, rule of thumb on the knurling, tuck your thumbs, Squeeze your shoulder blades together, pick up the bar. With this exercise, I want you to bend over, nice flat back, relax those knees, and you're gonna pull the bar up to your chest. Breathe it out. So once you've done your bent over row, we're gonna superset it with a single arm row. So really getting that retraction of the shoulders. There are different levels. You might see people in the gym doing this and rowing. I'm gonna make this hard for you today. We're gonna to work on the tummy, the core. So level two would be flat feet on the floor, nice flat back, hands on the bench. Level three is what we're gonna to try today. We're gonna to go onto our tiptoes. This adds a lot of pressure to your core. Keep it nice and strong. You grab the weight, whatever weight you have, squeeze your shoulder blades back, keep a nice flat back. And I want you to do 10 pulls on each side. Once we've done our rows, so you're gonna superset the bent over row with the single arm row, we're then gonna go into bench press. Now today, I'm gonna to do single arm bench press, so it gets you some stability through one of the shoulders against the other, so anti-rotational stability. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lie down, on the bench, you want to get your bottom in the hole and you're gonna hold the uh, weight up with one hand. So just like we've been doing at home on a floor press, but today we've got a bench. What I want, if you want to, you can lift one hand up towards the sky, make an arrow, imagine it's pointing towards the sky. Bring this arm down. Now you'll feel some pull, so really keep your tummy tight and push. And I want you to do that 10 times each side. So once you've done both sides of your bench press, we're gonna superset with a press up. Now not just any press up, we're gonna press up with the TRX. Now you can buy these anywhere online, really, really good for your stability. Um, and you can use them for any exercise, but today we're gonna to do them as a press up. So pop your hands on the hand part, not the foot part. Get some tension through the band and make sure it's nice and level. From there, we're gonna pop our feet back, we're on our toes. And I want you to do a press up down, keeping the elbows close to your body and pushing up back to the start position. Back down, sucking in the tummy, squeezing the shoulders 
and pushing. And you're going to do 10 of these. If you feel like that's too easy, you can always move your feet back a little bit more so you're more horizontal and you just go lower. So we've done our legs today, we've done the back of the body, we've done the front of the body. We're going to move back to the back of the body. This is one of my favourite all-time exercises. It's a lat pull-down and I haven't been able to do it because we haven't been in the gym. So, always start light with this one if you're coming back to the gym. I'm going to start us off with a triangle uh, attachment today, but if you want, you can have a long attachment. As long as you're trying to get your chest towards the bar. So we're going to sit down. We're going to puff up our chest, get some nice core stability, puff up our chest to the weight, to the atta attachment, and pull this down into our chest, really squeezing those lower traps. Breathe out. And in. So once you've done your lat pull downs, we're just going to focus on a little bit of rehabilitation, just to make sure your shoulders are nice and ready for the outdoor season. So we're going to do a diagonal raise today. So you start by just facing your body slightly towards the cable. Keep your arms straight the whole time, shoulders back and down. And you're going to lift that up, working the lower traps, working the lats and working your rotator cuffs. And you're going to do this 10 times each side. Last exercise today, we're going to do a plank with the TRX. So this is going to work all of your core stability muscles. So planks are so good for you, but let's just add that up a little bit. Just make it a little bit harder for us today. So you're gonna pop one foot in the, on the foot at at attachment, and then the other foot in on the other foot attachment. Now you can go low plank or high plank with this. I suggest going high plank just to help with archery. Pop your hands on the floor and try and spread out those fingers and try and rotate the armpits in towards your chest, lifting up your body and holding. If you want to make this harder, you can go legs out or you can tuck your knees in. Thanks for trying this session this week in the gym and I'll see you next week for another workout.